Today, we are going to react to ESPN FC's UCL prediction. It will not be winning the Europa League this season. Oh, they no. are out. But who will win the Champions League? City 2 to 1, Bayern Munich at 4s, Real Madrid 6 to 1, Arsenal 7 to 1. It's a conspiracy. Outsiders, I would say. What? Conspiracy? Because Inter are 20 to 1. Inter are 20. Inter are going to have a tough group uh, draw, aren't they? Given that they well, finished second Don in their group. Ryan um, so, at first look on the R's, it's not bad at all. Like Real Madrid on third, I think that's not bad at all. I kind of like Real Madrid a little bit lower than the most favorite because that makes us underdog. And you know that once Real Madrid is underdog, I kind of like that. Several others. Uh, Jan, who's more likely to win the Champions League, Real Madrid or Arsenal? Real Madrid. I think Real Madrid is a better team. Uh, I think they have shown uh, now with Bellingham, with uh, with the uh, way they just approach that game as well. Union Berlin, if they won, they could have got a third place. They won won in the Bundesliga. But you see that team, so many great players. They're so they're a broad squad. For me, me the favorite, even um, more favorite than Manchester City. First of all, why are you asking Arsenal or Real Madrid? I guess that's because of the similar odds for those two teams. Personally, I think the real question would be, who is more favoured, Man City or Real Madrid? Ilian? Are you, uh, are yes. you serious, Real Madrid or Arsenal? I'd have Arsenal over Real Madrid. You Definitely. Been, you've been De on no, the... Uh, no, honestly. You've no, been taking some... Uh, well, I need to be careful here. No, no, no. What's he been taking? I don't want to be so I had to pause here because in Champions League, I would not undermine any team. I understand what Craig is trying to say here, but the tone is kind of undermining. Oh, Bro, what? What? Where have you been today? We've seen a lot of Real Madrid no, this season. I like season. Arsenal. Don't get me I wrong. I just I mean, don't know. No, it, if, we've all seen a lot of Real Madrid. It's the right. experience, it's the nows. Right, it's the well, nows and the experience. We've seen more of Atletico Madrid. <laughs> I, somebody doesn't like us. Uh, it's the nows. You don't think it's a valid question? But I, think the, I think a more valid question is Real Madrid and Man City. Look, okay, here, I 100% agree with Craig. That's the real valid question. Really? <laughs> I'll tell you what. So, you just said about Real Madrid, a bit unconvincing. Bellingham's been bailing them out. Bailing them out. Yes. I'll give you that. Right. Uh, talk to me about Man City. Well, if, if I'm going to use your argument as to why Manchester City is still going to win the league, Kevin De Bruyne is still to come back. You know, they've still got to find that rhythm. Vinicius which they is still to come back. Say again? Vinicius to come back. No, I understand that, but there's an argument that Real Madrid being better without argue, Vinicius. Right, I think Rodrigo. the argument for me and I'll. Let's tackle this first. Yes, both teams has a lot of injuries. Man City has De Bruyne coming up soon, so which means that Man City would play much better after Christmas, as they always do. But don't forget, this Real Madrid team is full of injuries, and a lot of crucial players are going to come back. Vinny is going to come back, Arda is going to come back, Chouamani already came back, Kama is going to come back, and Milita, who is supposedly planned to come back in March, but apparently he's very likely to come back in February or late February. So I think both teams with their fully fit squad will be a good rival. With Arsenal, apart from City, if we were looking at the Arsenal angle, is Real Madrid's experience right. in this competition. Okay. And Arsenal's lack of it. Right. Both strong sides, but the nous they have and the manager mm. just, for me, gives them the edge. Absolutely, the lack of experience of Arsenal in Champions League. Look at their title. How many Champions League ti title they have won? Zero, right? Most importantly, I think this is the first time they are playing in Champions League in the last couple of years. Didn't they play last year? I can't recall all say. Without being convinced about yeah. them, don't get wow. me wrong. Who would, you, who would you choose in, in my... Uh, Real Madrid. Right. And, and the reason I would do that is because I look at what the strength of Real Madrid is, and it's the midfield and the core group of players that they have in that midfield. What would be the strongest part of Arsenal? I would also say the midfield. But if you put those together against each other, I'm taking Real Madrid right. in winning that battle and winning that fight and being able to break through and expose what can be sometimes a midfield that doesn't defend all that well from Arsenal. If you get them stretched, then Arsenal gets into trouble. You get in a back and forth with Real Madrid, that's asking for trouble as well, given the fact that you have Rodrigo and you have Vinicius and you have Bellingham supporting from behind. That's why I see Real Madrid as a team that, in the, in the case of Arsenal, matches up a whole lot better than they would against, say, for example, Manchester City. Don't get me wrong. If we're talking about 
fully fit squad like both team has the both fully fit squad real madrid probably has the best midfield depth in the world see despite all the injuries they had this season they are playing good football and they are top of the la liga and they also consider the least amount of goals in la liga and there is a reason for that because of midfield depth because they are playing a lot of midfielders together that kind of help them to be defensively solid i think they've all got to up their game mm. i think the standard I, I, overall is not where it's I, been I, over I, the previous I, I, years munich maybe more than most mm. yeah where were they were they third in the betting there yeah. were they third I think they were. that yeah, seems I think they were. ridiculous I, I, and I, I and i wonder whether how many more gears they have yeah I, I, you know because yeah they looked the okay tonight but I, I'm not convinced about them. Fine, a second. I, I think, yeah. yeah, but I, I think that the, the main thing, a second, yeah, you see if you see them here, but but if you see that defense, Upamakano was okay today, but Upamakano and Kim against Frankfurt, they were, they, they, I thought they were blind. The positioning they had, <laughs> I've, I've never seen something like it. It was like, I, I can't, I couldn't believe that experienced players like Upamakano and Kim could be so bad. And if, if for Arsenal, I think what will, will miss Arsenal is that, big striker who will score them their goal in the quarterfinal and the semifinal and the final you need that kind of big guy uh, to do that and then I think it's a fair point with Angelotti uh, you have an advantage in terms of the manager because to win the Champions League you can't just do that on a, an inexperienced road to, to a trophy Also Bayern being second despite they're not the top in their league I still would never discount Bayern Munich in Champions League. For me, when it comes to Champions League, one team I would never discount or discredit for Champions League is Bayern Munich. Now, the question is, are they more favorites than Real Madrid to win Champions League? That's a different question. And to me, odds are not that useful to determine who will win the Champions League. For instance, if you look back at Real Madrid's last Champions League when they won 21-22 season, they weren't favored any single match against any single rival, but they won the Champions League. So the reason that you have Real Madrid almost ahead of Manchester City is because Erling Haaland's forgotten how to score, Jan? Uh, I, I thought you should come the other way. I thought you should come that they didn't score in the semi-final and the final last season and still want to travel and score like 200 goals. But yeah, no, I think that is one of the main things that, that Manchester City will go further than Arsenal in, in, that, in, in the Champions League because they have a number nine, they have an, an Alvarez, they have so many players who can score goals. And I think that that will be the problem also for Arsenal coming into if they don't do anything in the transfer window in January. Their problem with when they're going to compete to now with Liverpool and Manchester City and maybe Aston Villa I don't think they will go all the way but still the other teams got so many strikers who can score goals well Real Arsenal will have maybe one maybe one on a good day so if we ask a question between Man City and Arsenal who will go further in Champions League campaign I think it's no brainer to say Man City will go further and the point that Jan makes about Ancelotti, I think, is a very valid one. That when you get in the latter stages of the competition, I think you begin to appreciate the calmness mm. of Ancelotti. And it didn't help last year, though. I think they got tanked by City. So I like that Dan brings out this point that last year Man City smashed Real Madrid, despite having one of the most experienced Champions League manager, Carlo Ancelotti. Honestly, I'd be honest that. One thing of Carlo that worries me, that concerns me, that sometimes he makes so big drastic change in a big match, which is not necessary. Being said that this season, his tactics are on point. So we have to wait and see. Well, I thought we were talking about Arsenal. No, I'm just saying. Well, well, hold on. It, look, so you're changing we, the argument. No, we're just, just talking about I just, prospects and experience and Ancelotti and, wait, wait. and this, well, but that didn't happen last year. Okay, did it? But, but it did the year before, Dan. So if we're going to have this conversation, then okay. <laughs> how far do you want to go back? And I, I said, I, I told you, see, you don't listen to me when I, when I tell you things. Right? I just told you that I don't like Real Madrid and their matchup with Manchester City. Mm -hmm. But in talking about Arsenal right. and going back to the original point that I was trying to make before I was so broadly interrupted. One thing I have to quickly mention that I would love to see these two teams face each other because Real Madrid has Bellingham now. For me, that might make huge difference when they face each other. The fact that you have in Ancelotti a lot of experience, a lot of calmness, 
and you have in Arteta a guy who's got that nervous energy going on. Right. And it, with nerve, that nervous energy, he tends to make decisions that you kind of go, what in the world is going on here? You don't get that from Carlo Ancelotti, certainly in the latter stages of this competition. Also, my comment on the ESPN's R's is that, first of all, I don't like the way they placed Inter Milan so below. Inter Milan should be above Arsenal. They are the finalist last season. So I don't see any reason putting them behind Arsenal. Who is the most favored to win Champions League? For me, two teams are the real contenders this season, Real Madrid and Man City. Being said that a lot of factors might change, like injuries, healthy squad, and team's performance. Anyway, let me ask you a question. Who is your top three Champions League contender for this season? Let me know in the comment section below.